Public Safety Committee has amended its 72-hour parking violations, and now cars and trucks will have to move a farther distance in order to avoid a ticket. Now, Fox 5's Alani Latang is live for us in Claremont, one of the problematic areas with more on these new changes. Alani. Andrew, Maria, that's right. Very problematic. You know, I, we hear it all the time. People are having to walk half a mile, uh, longer distances just to get to work and to their uh, to uh, to what they need to do around here, like shopping. So the city says this is the number one complaint that they're getting from residents because of uh, the inconvenience, because of the aesthetic appeal that it has to the neighborhood. But we also spoke to some people that are uh, questioning whether or not enforcement will be fair and not targeted to one group. And that passes unanimously. San Diego's Public Safety Committee approves a change to its 72 hour parking code. Now, cars and trucks are required to move at least a half a mile every three days, as opposed to only a tenth of a mile. The people get a citation and then they move it like three feet or something and they get away with it under the old law. The city says parked cars for more than three days are neighbors number one complaint with the city's get it done app receiving a daily average of 130 complaints. Staff from Mayor Todd Gloria's office says these parked cars block sidewalks, inconvenience neighbors and further limit parking. The city says the new distance will fix many of those common concerns promoting safer and more efficient traffic flow. We'll see improved parking turnover on our commercial corridors, encouraging a steady flow of customers. I think if they're going to enforce that law to everybody and not just to the vehicle dwellers, then that's fine. Don, or known in Ocean Beach as Bear, says people living in cars are often treated differently when they park versus people who are living in houses and park their cars. Well, they're not getting cited. They're not getting the warnings. It's people who are obviously living in their vehicles. And most of us are peaceful dwellers. The new distance is a toss up among San Diegans. I would go as far as three quarter of a mile or, or one mile. Get these cars off the street. And a, a half a mile, I think that's ridiculous. You know, there's days when I don't have the gas to move my car. So if, I'm, if I have to move my car half a mile and I break down because I'm out of gas, you know, like how, how fair is that? So people can um, use the Get It Done app on your phone to report some of the parked cars that you might see here for more than three days. And once a car is there for more than three days, police will is issue a citation. Then they'll come back out within the next three days, so six days after the car has been parked. And if the car is still there, that car could get another citation or it could be towed, which we all know is very expensive. So, you know, just be on the lookout for that and uh, use that Get It Done app to report some of those things the city is asking you for that. For live in uh, Claremont, I'm Alani Latang. Fox 5 News. Okay.